In positively Richmond tonight, it's festival time in Richmond. And a lot of times during the year is festival yeah. time in Richmond. <laughs> the RVA Street Art Festival kicked off today, celebrating its 10th anniversary at the spot where it all began. The festival will run through Sunday at the Canal Walk in Richmond, and admission is free. 8 News reporter Ali Barefoot stopped by this morning to get a sneak peek at the local artist's work. For the first time in five years, the RVA Street Art Festival is back, showcasing local artist work just like right here behind me and giving back to the community. Bright colors and intricate designs cover the walls along the Canal Walk in Richmond. The RVA Street Art Festival picks local artists to showcase their murals in front of the entire community. This year is the fifth edition of the festival after it was put on hold in 2020 during the pandemic. Now, 10 years after starting the festival, it has become Richmond's biggest outdoor art gallery while being the most visited and photographed area in Richmond. The festival also supports local youth art and education by raising money and awareness for community and public school art organizations and initiatives. Some programs they give back to are Art 180, Art on Wheels, Studio 23, and Richmond Public Schools. Naomi McCavitt is a new artist in the festival this year, and she's been creating murals through her company, Thicket Design. This year, she's painting an anatomical and botanical mural because she believes if there's anything we have learned in the past two years is that change is constant. This is public art. It's, it's art for the people, and so, you know, you hope, you hope people like it. Richmond is very lucky to have a lot of great um, talent, a lot of excellent artists, um, painters and muralists. So, um, yeah, you'll get to see some, some really good talent in there. The festival starts today at 3 p.m. until 7 o'clock tonight, and it'll go until Sunday. If you'd like to learn more about the entire schedule, you can read more in this story at WRIC.com. Reporting in Richmond, Allie Barefoot, 8 News.